Have I got a deal for you? No, wait. I'll tell you what you need. No, wait. You have to try the magnificent Manomatic. It cuts, it shreds, it slices, it brews coffee and tea. No, wait. It mows the lawn, it puts out the garbage. No, wait. It brings you flowers. It takes you out to dinner. No, no, wait. You'll never have any trouble with it. It clips your toenails, it massages your feet. Manomatic comes in denim, tweed and leather. Remember that show on telly last year about the cult that sends its followers out to like make best friends with young people and then try to convert them? Well, that's what he's doing. For sure. Trust me. It's just a scam. Somebody mentioned my name. Uh, do you always sneak up on people like that? I feel like something clean for dinner. Who's up for pasta? What's clean about pasta? Pure carbohydrates, no fat. Yeah, well, the dishes are clean and uh, we're not washing up again, so who's up for pizza? Yeah. Who's got cash? I have been waiting in line for half an hour, and now this. Your computer is corrupt. Look, I'm sorry, sir. This is the first time it's happened. It's usually very reliable. I don't care what is usually. I have come halfway around the world to this country, and you people cannot even organize a computer properly to work. Look, I understand how you feel, sir. I'm just trying to do my job. You President Elbonia. Not here. I am for him. Olympic Games. May I see your passport, please? Ah, yeah. Your passport? Oh. Ta-da! I asked him if this would do the job, and I checked. It's exactly the same formulation. He said it would. And you can call him if there's a problem, but I thought I should bring this back anyway. No, no, that's fine. Good thinking. We've used this one before, but I just thought you might like the other one because the label was prettier. <laughs> I don't think that's called for. I don't think that's very funny, Brian. No. <laughs> yeah, they, they like understand where we're coming from and that, but there's also some out there that, you know? That believe that just because we're younger than them and we don't have the same status as them, that we're like, you know, we don't have the right to be treated equally like as everyone else. Like, no respect for us. And the role of police is, is to improve the quality of life for all people and to protect people from, from danger, uh, to protect their property and make them safe. Come up to you, talk nicely and then, you know, you actually you, do get along with them. That's right, you but then, but then the ones that come and, you know, be macho and start, you know, telling you, go here, go here, do this, do that. They get in their groups and, and if they walk by and, and people are staring at them or they take offence to it and that's how things start, what are you looking at? From there it escalates. Yeah, because the younger They're generation wants the power, just the feeling of exactly. being in control, whereas like, the older police I, officers yeah. believe that, you know, look, we're here to help people for real. <laughs> I do a lot of group work because the groups occur naturally. I'm lucky I haven't got all that much of a range within each group, so these groups are able to work together cohesively, virtually in grades. With his um, brain and my brain, we thought it might have been helped. Yeah, because the person he was working with left. Um, you can, in, with this program, you can record your voice. And if you make mistakes, you can just, they, you don't, they don't show any um, like marks like rubbers do. Adults are always saying, oh, it's the best years of your life, but I want to get out. <laughs> I'm sick of it. When we got to year 11, they're like, choose your subjects and this will be whatever shapes the rest of your life. Yeah. At the end of the year, you're not going to see three quarters of the people mm. that you've spent, you know, seven years of that your life with. That is so scary. And that's, it's so that's scary. 
it's a one way to escape from reality, isn't it? It's like, well, my homework's pissing me off. I'm going to go have some cones, you know. People can make up a million excuses. Oh, but I'm, you know, I'm not going out and, and smoking a stick. And I'm just, you know, I'm taking a couple of tokes or whatever and I'm, I'm coming home and getting into my work. Oh, yeah, actually, I didn't do anything last night. <laughs> Today, we have a growing and active industry, producing a diverse range of feature films, documentaries and television drama, as well as co-productions with other countries. The last three years have seen Australian-produced titles shown internationally through all channels of distribution.